Hey guys, this is Miss Arlequin, and tonight I'm going to show you how to access apps that have been assigned to you by a teacher. And we're going to focus on the first app we're going to be using this year, which is an app called Educanon. It's an app where we can access videos that Miss Arlequin wants you to watch. And along with watching those videos through the app, there will be some questions. Um, quiz questions and thinking questions that I want you to focus on as you're watching these videos. So the first thing you do is you start out on your newsfeed and you might have noticed that right here on the upper right part of your newsfeed you have this little menu and there's a couple of things here. There is the snapshot option which we are not using yet. There's the Edmodo Planner which if you click on it will bring up your calendar of assignments and due dates and we want to actually focus right here on the very top icon, the four boxes, that is your apps launcher. So when you click on that, your apps come up and as you can see, I have assigned a few apps already, although we are not using some of them yet, although you should feel free to explore them and get an idea of what they're like. We're going to be starting with the last app in the top row, this one right here, Educanon. Ah, um, has the little green box and the dog. When you want to access an app, you click on it, and then it's going to open up the app in your Edmodo window. The first uh, screen you see is your class that you're assigned to, so you click on it. And what you end up getting is your assignment board. And so what these are called, they're called bulbs, and bulbs are made up of video links and questions that you have to answer. If I bring my screen down, I can see if I have any bulbs that are overdue. If I have finished a bulb, it'll tell me what my progress is. If I haven't started, it'll tell me how many I haven't started. So progress, I'm assuming, means that you started it but you didn't finish. And then if you have any upcoming bulbs, it will tell you what's due soon, how many are in progress, how many you have not started yet. Now, when I come to the very top, I see bulbs that are assigned to me and that are waiting for me to click on and complete. So they're going to appear in the order that they're assigned. So this bulb appears first. This is the first bulb that I have to click on and you can see when I hover my mouse over it, it tells me what the due date is and it actually gives the objective um, what Ms. Arlequin is hoping you're going to learn through this video. And this video is the second one that's also due Monday, but it should be watched second after the first one. When it gets to be closer to Monday, these two videos will actually appear down here where it says due soon. But since that is almost a week away, it's just here as one of my future activities and I can complete it at my leisure. So I'm going to click on the bulb. It's going to load it for me. As you can see, you get the video all big. You start watching it by pressing play. We speak student. What is poetry? Alashma. And as you're watching the video, right? Poetry is an ancient answer. As always, you want to take notes. Like pottery making or cave painting that holds no place. Okay, so as the video is playing, um, throughout the video, there will be certain stopping points, and we have one coming up. And learn more about ourselves and our place in the universe. Slightly more valuable than a freshly... ...attached to poetry. Why do we picture stuffy old folks in leather armchairs puffing away on their pipes and speaking in a faux British accent? Cheerio, old chap. Honestly, because it can sometimes be difficult to understand. We just assume it's for the cultural elite. So not true. All right, so here is uh, one of our stopping points. And as you can see, when there's a stopping point, the video pauses. And on the left side of the screen, you get your question. Sometimes it is a multiple choice question. Sometimes it's going to be a checklist where you have to check all the items that apply. And sometimes it's just going to be a stop and think where I'm going to ask you a question and you don't have to respond or choose an answer. It's just something I want you to be aware of and to be thinking about as you watch the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my answer 
And when I'm done, I'm going to press the thumbs up. So I'm not actually going to do it because this is just practice, but once I press that thumbs up, it will disappear, the question will disappear, the video will go back to being in the center of my screen, and the video will continue. And as soon as you're done with the video, you can then go back to the rest of your bulb assignments and start the next one. So once um, I'm done with this app, maybe I've completed my assignment, or let's say I'm in the middle, but something comes up, my mom's calling me from the other room, I need to exit out, you can just come up here, here's my name, and right above it is the X. This is always the button you want to press to exit out of whatever app you're using. And you'll see once you do that, it takes you right back to your just regular Edmodo screen. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful and everyone will know how to use their app launcher and specifically the Educanon app. And I look forward to using this new app with you guys. I hope we all like it.